All right, guys, so, so here is the engine. This guy's about to make a bunch of rackets, so if I have to uh, do an overdub, I will. Never got a performance air intake for this car because I just never felt that it was necessary, honestly, because it just wasn't that fast. Um, plus, I don't know, just never did. I did get uh, decent spark plug wires and um, performance spark plugs, though, um, which definitely helped that, that engine when, when, I, when it was new, when, I, when we first did it. Uh, it's a dirty engine right now. Never has been really cleaned, you know, or sprayed or anything. But uh, as you can tell, the uh, the way the engine layout is is here's the uh, the lineup of the cylinders. Not a big deal. Um, this uh, I'll tell you what was replaced in this car many times. Battery replaced many times. Maybe even four times in 130,000 miles. Uh, it has uh, it, the belts needed replaced once. I haven't replaced, you know what I haven't replaced in a while is the air filter. I have not replaced the air filter in a while. Radiator needed to be swapped out in the hose. Um, this got broken, so it's a different color than the car. Uh, somebody broke this, I, I, and uh, they didn't even actually put it in the top piece. Weird. Maybe that fell out from vibrations, I'm not sure. Very, very strange that this popped out. Anyways, uh, yeah, man, that could probably come out easy. I don't know. But the good thing about it is if you break these, look, it's very easy to replace. Now, if you notice this, my mom back, uh, my mom hit someone in the rear end for just a, a tiny bit. Um, and it, and it, it sort of did a little bit of damage here. And I popped this out and caused a little crack down here. Nothing major, nothing was reported as an accident though. And uh, that's like the, you know, that cools the engine down there for the radiator. I did get, uh, new, you know, fairly new tires recently and these do perform very well. G-Force Comp 2 all, all season. I really got them by accident because uh, I wasn't paying for them and I wanted to review them, but uh, I would definitely get all four. I don't, I don't have them in the rear yet because um, I plan on getting rid of this car very shortly. So I did get uh, custom uh, rotors for this car and um, it did help a little bit because the, the uh, regular rotors were absolutely shot. So now the car is not the cleanest right now because after the hurricane hit, I just said fudge it and my mom was sick for so long. It was like the last thing on my worries list. These were the uh, Cooper uh, Xeon RS3 A's. Uh, I didn't like the way they were wearing here. They uh, they cupped a little bit. That might have had something to do with an alignment, however. Uh, who knows, guys? Anyway, those are stock rotors on the rear, though. Different pads, but not, not the newest. I, I can't really say I like these tires that much, but uh, those are much better. Here's where my mom also got in a slight little accident. Not really an accident, because it was just you know in a parking lot or something. She was uh, backing up and didn't see somebody, and it was like a big truck, and they didn't get any damage. Only my mom did, so she, you know, they didn't file for anything or anything. So I just left it as is. Uh, you know, it's not bad. It could probably easily be popped out by somebody. So when I sell it, maybe you know they're not going to take off that much for the resale value. And um, as you can see. This is starting to fade a little bit. This is definitely fading. But nothing really too bad after 10 years. Uh, let's go inside. This is, this is dirty as all hell. Uh, I don't even know how to clean this, guys. So I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'll let somebody else clean that. But um, yeah, the steering wheel is is sort of dirty as well, but it, it's, it's been worse. I replaced the uh, radio because the other one was completely dead, and this is way better of a radio. I should have gotten new speakers at the time, but it wasn't really on, like it wasn't a high priority at the time, but I, I really should have gotten at least uh, different speakers because those, the stock speakers, man, 
it's not that they sound bad, but they're in a very bad location, and there's no, I believe that there's no tweeters at all. I think this is, these are like uh, air intakes up there for the uh, air conditioning and whatnot. Uh, intakes there, and then does whatever it does. If I'm wrong, guys, correct me. This does not really rattle. I mean, it's not, it's not perfectly so solid, but it doesn't rattle at least, and this doesn't rattle. Like on some guys' cars, I looked at some WRX owners complaining about this rattling. Well, mine doesn't rattle. It does not rattle, the seats do not squeak. So, these were made better in my opinion. The 2007, if you can find like a 2007 WRX or a 2007 uh, STI, I would rather have that with low miles. Now that would be rare because all those owners knew what they had at the time. And, uh, but yeah, these seats, man, I mean, they they held up very well. That's why in a way I like cloth seats. <clears throat> that's why in a way I like cloth seats better because if you take care of them, they're not gonna rip. They, I mean, they look pretty much new. I don't know what this tile's down here for some reason. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's there for who, I was just setting my phone on this towel so it didn't slide off. And um, the back seat, hardly anyone's ever been back here except the reason it's a little dirty, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, because my mom used to have dogs back here and whatnot, so she did what she did and that's it, so. Car's got some quarks, but overall it's okay, so. I would say it's worth a good 4,500, I mean, some days, honestly, it performs better than others. I don't understand it. Like, some days it's smooth on the highway, and some days the steering feels like it's wobbling a little bit. I really don't know what's going on. Um, sometimes the braking feels like it's shimmying, and then other days it doesn't. I really don't know. It's very it's very confusing. But it's got 132,000 miles right now. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the check engine light is on permanently um, because I never fixed... Um, that evaporated canister in the back of the car because it was like $300 at the time plus who, who knows what the labor would have been. So I never got it fixed. So I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, the brakes are a little soft for my liking after driving that uh, Mustang um, or any car. I might, like I said, I might go drive a BMW today, uh, the uh, 228i, which is a dual turbo 2.0. 240 horsepower, but the car is light, so it's like 3,300 pounds around there, and I believe that the Mustang is much heavier than that. Not much, but heavier enough, so who knows? Um, plus, I'm sure the uh, BMW is quite a bit different in handling, um, and, you know, it's a very sh small car like this car. I like the cars to be tossable. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> Anyhow, guys. So that's gonna wrap it up. I don't know if you guys have any questions. I mean, here's some switches that were probably in the WRX. And right here, there's some switches that I think had to do with other things. And But yeah, very simple AC system, still works. And uh, there is a quirk with the transmission. It doesn't like to be put in drive and left there. It's not intelligent enough to go from third to drive so sometimes it starts bogging down and it does not make a good sound at all it likes to switch it way too low and it's always been like that even from brand new so I leave it in third around town and then if I'm on the highway or I pass around 3,000 to 3,500 rpm then I'll put it in drive so I'm always manually shifting this automatic so it stays in the best gear um, I don't use first to second to third much um, only just I did it like every now and then but it, it's not it's not a fast car so it doesn't matter so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and um, let's get this uh, quick overview of the car and then I'm going inside it's hot out here so that's it that's everything here's a door there's a do little door ding here I'm not sure how that happened but yep these puppies are brand new, practically. Probably less than a thousand miles on them right now. I mean, maybe maybe 500 on. It's hard to say. All right, guys. Till next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later.